ski metal. This is a hot topic. It's also known as Tetanol, which is also known as aluminum, because Tetanol is just a branded name. It's actually just aluminum with some flame treatment on it to help it bond a little bit better. Fun fact, ski metal does not make a ski stiffer. Uh, it has this really unique property, which is why people use it. It's called isotropic, which basically means it's, it's the same in all directions. You know, think of a ski core, it's wood, right? There's grains in it, so it's stronger one way than the other. Metal is, in theory, the same in all directions. Uh, it doesn't make a ski th stiffer. It uh, increases the weight, which makes the ski less prone to vibrations, which your brain thinks is, is stiffer. Technically, it adds a little bit of thickness to the overall profile of the ski, and that's where some of the stiffness comes from, but it's not from the metal itself. You can tell like, you know, how floppy this is, uh, so that's not gonna actually stiffen up your ski much. Metal can be cut in a bunch of different ways with a lot of fancy names to them, but the basics of it are you can have a full sheet, which is the full length and width of a ski, a partial sheet, which is a, a strip that runs tip to the tail, you can basically do Swiss cheese, which helps to concentrate the weight either to the tips and the tails or actually bring it inwards. And that just gives you different amounts of just like swing weight essentially. Or some companies will cut a single hole in it and uh, remove that and call that a technology. So you just kind of choose what you want. <laughs>